All right, so I'm talking about the differences between the Brio Beardscape and the Lawnmower 4.0. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of each, what they're good for, and hopefully you can figure out which trimmer is right for you. The blade design, materials, and durability on both trimmers is very similar. Ceramic blades stay sharp for a really long time and are generally smoother and quieter than stainless steel blades. If you're doing a lot of hair trimming, then I definitely recommend getting a trimmer with a ceramic blade. These blades are both gonna cut consistently without any tugging and pulling. The big difference between the trimmer's blades is their width and adjustability. Since I've extensively used both the Beardscape and the Axis, Yep, the one with the smaller blade. I can't say that there's a huge difference between using a trimmer with a wide blade and a smaller blade, other than using a narrower blade just takes a couple more passes if you're doing a larger surface area. The big difference is in the adjustment. So the lawnmower blade is fixed at about one millimeter, where the Beardscape blade is adjustable between one and nine millimeters. We built this blade adjustment into the trimmer so that the user has a little bit more control over the length in certain cutting situations. For example, I find it more comfortable to trim certain types of body hair at the 1.9 millimeter length, so it leaves it a little bit longer and is less prickly. For stubble trimming, the added range helps dial in the right height for your facial hair. And for doing haircuts, the blade adjustment gives you finer control in between the preset guard lengths. All right, let's talk about safety. So for me, safety means the amount of clearance you have between the moving blade and your sensitive skin parts. Since the Beardscape blade can slide down to 1.9 millimeters, it's gonna give you more clearance in between that blade and your most sensitive areas. The Manscaped blade is fixed at about one millimeter, so there's a little less clearance in between that blade and your skin. Battery motor in the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 is exactly the same as is in the 3.0, which is a 600 milliamp hour lithium ion battery and a motor that runs at about 6,000 RPM. Well, the Beardscape has a 2200 milliamp hour battery uh, and a motor that can run at a range between 5,000 RPM and 7,000 RPM. The battery on the 4.0 lasts up to 90 minutes on a single charge, while the battery on the Beardscape lasts for 240 minutes on a single charge when you're running it at the slowest speed. Now, one of the cool things Manscaped did uh, on this new lawnmower was have a three-stage battery meter. I think any product that has a battery in it should have a battery meter. And the one that's on the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 is actually very similar to the one that we have on our Smart Clean Sonic Toothbrush. The battery meter on the Beardscape is a digital display that just tells you the amount of time remaining on your trim. All right, the Lawnmower 4.0 does feature induction charging, which means that the trimmer charges in this cradle uh, without having prongs on the inside of the cradle versus the Lawnmower 3.0 and the Beardscape, which charges in its cradle while having prongs on the inside of the cradle. Induction charging is cool, a little bit slower, and definitely not worth any extra expense. Use. What do you use these things for? This is where these two trimmers start to look different. So lawnmower is really straightforward that this is designed to, do, to be a pubic hair or groin trimmer only. So that makes a lot of sense with how they've designed it. The fixed blade, narrow blade, and inclusion of just two guards. So what this means is you're not gonna have much of a cutting range. And for that very specific task, uh, this trimmer performs pretty well. Uh, there's really not a whole lot to trimming pubic hair. It's pretty easy. Uh, you don't need a lot of features or functions when you're doing this just because um, what you need to go with is either really short, which would be no guard at all, or if you want a little bit of, uh, a little bit of extra comfort space, snap on one of the small guards and you're good to go. That's pretty much all you need to know with trimming pubic hair. So we designed the Beardscape to really be the last trimmer you'll ever need. So in addition to trimming downstairs any type of pubic hair you may want to lop off, the Beardscape will cut any other hair on your body very effectively. So use it for body hair, use it for back hair and leg hair. Also, beards, stubble, even doing haircuts. With a full range of guards, you really can do everything you need to with this trimmer 
that's how we designed it. That's what it's made for. We also made uh, the Zero Blade for trimming very, very short. So the Zero Blade will get you to basically uh, a near shaven look and it takes the trimming range down to, to a place where a lot of trimmers actually can't go. So we made a specific blade just to go extra shorter, but with the Beardscape, the blade adjustment, and the one through 18 millimeter guards that it comes with, we really designed this trimmer to do any trimming task you could possibly ask it to. So that's the main difference where the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 is really more focused on just pubic hair trimming while the Beardscape is designed to trim any hair in your body. All right, let's talk about some other features to make note. So one thing I did notice with the Manscaped 4.0 is it does have a little bit of a banana shape, which kind of feels pretty cool in the hand. I think that I think that this shape overall uh, is a little bit of an improvement over the 3.0, um, but I actually don't like the angular features on the front as much as the 3.0. Um, our axis trimmer is a little more rounded on the front. Uh, not not quite as angular, but again, I do like the the profile shape this way. The light, I found the light on this trimmer really isn't bright enough to do anything either way. I'm not sure why you need a light on your trimmer, um, but it doesn't seem to be particularly effective. One feature on the 4.0 that I love and I'm glad they included is the travel lock. So for me, this is a big improvement. You will see a travel lock on the new version of the Beardscape. Um, so I think that's probably one of the best upgrades to this trimmer. It sounds funny, but yes, the travel lock. All right, so I wanted to talk a second about wet hair and waterproof trimmers. So, you know, this is something that trimmers have now been talking about uh, for the last couple of years, and I just want to make my point here that trimming wet hair is a terrible idea. Please don't do it, especially when you're talking about sensitive parts. So what happens when you get your hair wet is it sticks to your skin. When you stick the hair down to the skin, it makes it much harder to trim. You have to put more pressure on the trimmer, pushing it harder and harder into your skin to actually lift that hair up and cut it cleanly. Please don't try and cut wet hair. It doesn't work very well. Um, and it could be a lot more dangerous if you're trying to trim uh, wet pubic hair that's sticking to sensitive areas. Please don't trim wet hair. That said, uh, what's the point of having a waterproof trimmer? Um, it could be a little bit easier maybe to clean by running underwater, but again, we don't recommend that because that also removes lubrication from the blade. So it's best just to take your trimmer, tap it in the sink, use the included brush to brush the extra hair off. That's really all you need to do to keep your trimmer clean. As of the making of this video, the Lawnmower 4.0 is $89.99 and the Brio Beardscape is $79.95. If you are only interested in below the belt trimming, you may want to get a Manscaped. If you're looking for a trimmer that can cover any trimming task, then check out the Brio Beardscape. If you want more technical information on what's inside each trimmer, check out this comparison I did with the Manscaped 3.0. To see the latest comparison videos, please subscribe.